तो हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव कवर्ड द सम रियल टाइम क्वेश्चन फॉर टीपी 203 को एग्जामिनेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर मोर रियल टाइम क्वेश्चन इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू बी अपडेटेड अबाउट दिस काइंड ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन सो 11th क्वेश्चन इज यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ पार्टीशन टेबल इन एन अजूर साइनेप्स एनालिटिक डेडिकेटेड एसक्यूएल पूल हाउ शुड यू कंप्लीट द ट्रांजैक्ट एसक्यूएल स्टेटमेंट so these are the value are provided here and this is the our query create table is the create and table both are syntax table one is a table name id and teaser call one where can id call one call two all are the column name and the integer where can 10 are the data type for this here it is uh though two fill in the blanks is provided here you have to drag this option the appropriate option here equal to hash id and equal to id range left for the value so when you scroll down you are able to see the current uh, correct answer so distribution equal to hash id and the partition so if anything is provided range left for range you see keyword left for value ah. and you see multiple value across here <laughs> then you have to use the partition partition will be correct so for the distribution you can see the sort description like table distribution option include distribution equal to hash assign each row to one distribution by hashing the value stored in the distribution column name then partition table partition option like partition column name range left right for value boundaries are provided here now let's move to the another question you you need to design an azure sinus analytics dedicated sql pool that meet the following requirement can return an employer record from a given point in time then maintain the latest employee information then minimize query complexity how should you model the employee data so here correct option is d as a type to slowly changing dimension so correct option will be at uh, correct option is d as you can see as a type to slowly changing dimension because you are continuously inserting data and complexity is increasing and uh, complexity you are minimizing the complexity uh, so uh, short description is here or uh, type 2 as it is support versioning of dimension member often the source system does not store version so the data warehouse load warehouse process defect detect and manages changes in a dimension table in this case the dimension table must use the surrogate key to provide a unique reference to a version of the dimension member it is also include column that define the date range validity of the version so let's uh, move to the next question so from here uh, you have to select the multiple option you have an enterprise wide azure data lake storage into account the data lake is accessible only through an azure virtual machine named vnet1 you are building sql pool in azure sinus that uh, will use data from the data lake your company has a sales team all the member of the sales team are in azure active directory group name sales posix control are used to assign the sales group access to the file in the data lake so there are multiple uh, thing like uh, you plan to load data to the sql pool every hour you need to ensure that sql pool can load and sell data from the data lake which three actions should you perform each correct uh, present part of the solution yes in correct option is add the manage identity to a sales group then use the manage identity as credential for the data load process and third is create a manage identity then moving to the next question you have an azure sinus analytics dedicated sql pool that contain the users shown in the following table name these are the role uh, this is the query select c dot name from the parameter this result you want name table name data type is mask and the masking function so what you select uh, just let me adjust this when user to query the yearly income 
So value return will be transfer choice here you have to select and second is when user one carries the birthday column so for user two the correct option will be zero and for user one the correct option will be the value stored in the database the next question is you have the enterprise data warehouse in azure synapse analytics using Polybase, you create an external table name EXT item to carry parquet file stored in Azure Data Lake Gento without importing the data to the data warehouse. The external table has three columns. You discover that parquet file has both column name item ID. <laughs> Your command should run to add the item ID column to the external table. So alter table drop and drop external then this and uh, here correct option will be c correct option is c drop external table exe dot items and create table with this location <laughs>